Today we're here in Melbourne. I'm taking a leaf out of a photographer called Roman Fox's book. We're going to do a mental health photo walk. Come along for the ride. Let's get it. I highly recommend checking out Roman's video. He's a UK based street photographer and YouTuber and he talks about just the benefit of getting your steps in, getting out, you know, into some nature or into the world, even if it's the city or whatever, and just taking some pictures just purely as a mental health exercise. So that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. Shooting today on the Fuji X100V and I've got like an ASIO profile from uh, Fuji X Weekly. So let's have a look and, and see how that turns out. There's two types of street photography. There's hunting and fishing. Hunting is when you go out and you're actively looking for a shot. And then fishing is when you line the shot up and then you wait for the subject to come through or you wait for the shot to happen in front of you, which is what I just did with that lady. Oh, the light is actually so nice with the, um, the sun just starting to creep through. This would be a beautiful place to revisit with, with a model to take some nice portraits in the morning. So this Astia profile, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes with a location like this because there are some actually, especially when the sun comes out, there are some really vivid colours with the greens and the blues. So this profile might actually be a little bit intense. So maybe I'll, I'll line up a shot and I'll wait for someone to walk through it because there seems to be a bit of foot traffic over here. One good thing about the X100V is it does have the little tilty screen. So you can kind of do that shoot from the hip thing and it's like, you can just be a little bit more discreet about what you're doing. This is actually a lot faster than I would normally shoot, but I just feel like there's just, everywhere I turn, there's just something interesting. And the beauty of doing something like this is there's just no expectation, like I'm not shooting to deliver to someone else. It's just purely just for the fun of taking pictures. And I think that's the best thing about it. Good morning. Is that a steady cam? It's a, um, DJI Ronin it's called, yeah. Yeah, and how does it actually work? So yeah. it's got three motors, it's got one here, one here and one here. Yeah. And on every axis it works so, to, so to, to balance it out. Say, whatever it is. Guys, I'm doing a um, YouTube video about photography, about street photography. Would you mind if I took a picture, a portrait of you guys? Not me, you can take a picture. No, of me. she doesn't. Hey, I, can I, we, I don't, can I we don't. take the uh, mask off? I think that's no. kind of part of it. It's, it's yeah, the world we're living in. Come on, come on. I'm happy to send it to you. No, no that, that, that's all right. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, how about that? Well, there we go. Is, what, do we... what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do one nice one and one silly one. All right, okay. Yeah, how about that? How about that? All right, ready? All right. Oh, lovely guys. Yeah. Beautiful, oh, ready? Well, Three, yeah, two, one. one. Oh, Three, yeah, you blinked. Two, no, I'm kidding, I'm yeah, kidding. Okay, can like you do like a silly one for me as well? Okay, ready guys? Three, two, one. Thank you so much. No, no problem at all. No, thanks for the uh, technical uh, run there on the equipment. Yeah, no, right. nice to chat. My name's PJ, what was your yeah, name? Ron. Ron, good Lorraine. to meet you. Ron and Lorraine, this is Talis, PJ. Yeah, so nice to meet you. You sort of get two types of people when you're out in public shooting. There's people, why are you taking my photo? Like, what are you doing? What's this for? There's people that are quite defensive and there's people that are quite curious. Oh, what sort of camera do you shoot? Oh, my son's a photographer. Oh, I used to do this and that. And we were lucky that they were quite sweet. I don't know, to be honest, I barely even took 
any notice of, of what I was doing when I was shooting them, but it seemed like a wasted opportunity if I didn't just ask if I could take their picture. So, and I didn't even, didn't even grab their email. I was gonna grab their email to send to them, but they didn't really care. Anyway, um, that was a nice interaction. And um, yeah, I think both of our days are a little bit brighter for it. All right, here's a nice shot coming up. I can see there's like a little bit of a silhouette in these trees, in these trees, and some, um, some good light behind with some people walking through. So if I can catch this at the right moment, this could be a cool shot. I suppose the challenge of this, or one of the challenges, is to get the beautiful nature, but to not get all the signs and, you know, the um, extra sort of man-made bits and pieces. Might actually be a nice exercise. It could be a good, a good video if we went for a walk around the city and just asked people if we could take their picture. You know, if you, if you find someone or meet someone interesting, ask to take their picture and just see how many portraits we could, interesting portraits we could make in a day. That could be kind of interesting. You'd have to be ready for rejection, I imagine. I've kind of gotten used to it in, in the job that I do because often I have to walk in somewhere and ask if I can take a picture of a, of a restaurant or a cafe and um, at the end of the day it is nerve-wracking to do it is kind of like uncomfortable but all someone can say is no and then you just go on your way I suppose of course that lady blinked <laughs> she actually blinked yeah I was actually saying it to him because he had sunglasses yeah, on and I was like, oh, you blinked. And oh, no, I'm just kidding. But she actually blinked. So I'm just going to pause here for a moment and just wait for this lady to just walk a little bit further into the frame because I think it could be a good shot. But I just want her sort of like two thirds of the way in it. She might stop or like try and go around. No, I think she's good. She's just going for it. Yeah, good. A dog? <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe let's head back through the park. I want to try and find some pockets of sunlight because these little, these little patches of light are so nice, but a lot of the park is quite flat at the moment. I don't understand where the dog comes into it. Did you think the gimbal was a dog? Maybe the way I was holding it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a really, that is a really weird thing to say. You can always tell a um, student, a photography or film student, because with the tripod, tripod bag. It's borrowed from school. Tripod bag has the tag on it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yep. This looks really beautiful, this little path down here. It's funny, depending on the day and like the weather, your eye is drawn to different things. So on a nice, like about half an hour ago, I was shooting everything because there was these like pools of sunlight everywhere. But now it's sort of quite gray and overcast. So now what draws my eye is like the orange of the leaves and like the green of the trees. And you just see, you see something different when the weather is like this. And at night time, it would be something else altogether. At night time, you'd be looking for bright shops or you'd be looking for neon lights or that sort of thing. I love that there's a no smoking sign and the most putrid smoke ever coming out of that building. What even is that? It's a hospital. It's not the shot I was looking for. One other thing that I sometimes look for on a um, like really overcast gray day like this 
is matching colors. Like if you see two or three things in a single frame that are the same color, that can look quite good in a shot. I could get that shot with someone walking back, walking past in something red. Red Vespa, red sign, or a red car. This is where hunting versus fishing comes into it. I could stay here and, and do some fishing and wait for the shot to happen. But the thing is, it might never happen. And it's like, we only have so many hours on this earth. So they're quite a ways away, but I can actually see a lady coming with a red beanie. It might not be enough red, but I'm gonna line up the shot. I'm gonna wait, it might be a minute or so. The target in the red beanie is just across the road. I wonder if, I wonder if I'll still get her in frame from over the other side. Let's give it a try. Didn't quite work out the way I wanted. Oh, there was a red car. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. All right, let's keep going. See, that's 100% my fault in that situation. I just wasn't patient enough. Like, I suppose if I was here alone and if I didn't have a camera rolling, I might have waited there for five minutes happily, but it's like when the recording's on and you just don't know. It could be five minutes, it could be 30 minutes. Again, it's so funny how when the weather changes, we just had a nice patch for about like 10, 15 minutes, but when the weather changes, your eye changes and you focus on different things. Like now all I'm seeing is like the, the bright green and the yellow leaves. Like that's what my eye is drawn to now, whereas before I was chasing, you know, patches of sunlight. And you have to actually like refocus your brain to, you know, recalibrate when the weather changes. hoping that this family is going to come in and sit down on one of these benches and if they do I might get a nice like silhouette with like the um, fountains and all that stuff in the background. Maybe not, maybe they're just moving straight on. Thank you so much for watching Roman Fox, I appreciate the video that you made, it really it put some things into perspective for me and it made me get out here and do this today and I honestly feel so much better for it. Firstly, stretching my creative muscles. Secondly, just getting out and going for a walk. And thirdly, just the process of creating a video. For me, just getting a video recorded is just, it's so rewarding. It's the best start to my week ever. So thank you so much. If you've enjoyed it, the best thing you can do to support me is leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.